In this video, we're going to talk about clips and the time editor. So what I've done is loaded in some motion capture data, and it comes in at 120 frames per second, and they set it for 30. Then I load the UE4 man, it's the game skeleton. Uh, it came in with uh, namespace, and so I deleted it. Um, renamed the skeleton from motion capture and I'm reapplying the uh, character definition template to that. And so I'm going to drive uh, the game character with that mocap file. And now I'm going to bake, bake it out to the joints. And now what I'm going to do is save this information out as a clip, as this FBX clip, and I'm putting it in an Eclipse directory. And it's just the skeleton. So uh, later when I load my clips, uh, they'll, they'll go right on to the character. So this time I loaded the character first, and then I'm going to load the motion capture data. The character came in at 30 frames per second. And so when I loaded the mocap in, uh, it adhered to the 30 frames per second. So renaming uh, skeleton again, putting in the T-pose, loading the character definition that I created in the previous videos. Driving the game character. Take everything out. And I'm going to select the skeleton and export it as an FBX into my clips directory. I'm going to import. Uh, another mocap file, and this one's going to be uh, a little bit different. It's going to be from, it's going to be from a shoot I did uh, a while, a uh, number of years ago. I've got permission to use the data. It's for, uh, it's for a platforming game that never shipped. Okay, so there's a punch here in this move. Um, but I'm actually going to use the move just to uh, get an idle from it. So now I'll re-import the game character. Uh, I'll, re I'll remove the namespace from the game character. So there's a nice punch there, um, but it's also that idle that I'm after, because that'll work with the kick and the punch from the other two moves. So I'm gonna bake it out to the skeleton, and then I can delete uh, the other one. So now what I'm doing is I'm going into the channel control and the graph editor. And so I'm grabbing um, the entire channel uh, for the X translation and the Z translation. I'm grabbing the hips and the entire curve, selecting all the keys and using shift and middle mouse button. I'm moving that entire curve uh, up and down so I can center the character. Now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm testing to see which axes of rotation to lift those clavicles up a little bit. And so again, I, I, I find, uh, like in that case it's Z, so I just grab the whole curve and shifted it up. So I'm doing that on the clavicles 
and the arms. So that's a way of uh, sort of tweaking your data, just kind of muscling the data the way you want it. So I've got a nice punch there, but it's I'm actually just going to use it for the um, export this as a clip and use it for an idle. So now I'm loading the character back in, and now I'm going to uh, go back to the reset my animation workspace, and I'm going to the time editor. And in the time editor, I go to those clips and I just import them, and they come in as a clip. Now they're working with the character because I made the clips from that skeleton. 